In this triad exercise, we're asked to write an inequality given its graph. Uh, and we're given the equation for the boundary line. If we didn't have the equation, we could find the equation. Uh, but this makes it a little bit uh, a little bit easier since we're given the equation. So essentially, we're, we're given that the equation of this line is y equals 2x, negative 2x plus 3. And it's a solid line, so our two options are y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3 or y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. So which of these is it and how do we determine that? Well let's pick a point on the graph in the shaded region that we know is a solution. How about the point 2 2? We know this satisfies the the inequality because it's in the shaded region. So let's test this. And x, y. So y is 2, x is 2. So what we want to know is 2 greater than or equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 3 is 2 greater than or equal to negative 4 plus 3 is 2 greater than or equal to negative 1. So that's true. Just to check to make sure we didn't make any mistakes, we'll check the other one. But it's the same exact process. We would end up with... So I should have had question marks on these first two because we're verifying whether or not it is true. So 2 less than or equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 3 is 2 less than or equal to negative 4 plus 3 is 2 less than or equal to negative 1. That's false. So this indicates that the direction of our inequality symbol is greater than we include the equals again because the the line, the boundary line that we're given, y equals negative 2x plus 3, it's solid, indicating that it is part of the solution, so it's an inclusive inequality. And this verifies that our solution of the inequality shown in the graph that has the boundary line y equals negative 2x plus 3, since it's a solid line, again, it's inclusive. And since greater than makes it a true statement, 2 is greater than negative 1, we know that our inequality is y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3.